James Pumphrey just made a decision that's gonna change Donut forever. For everyone that knows Donut Media but doesn't know what just happened, three of the main people who are on Donut Media's channel just got up and left. What seemed like a pretty abrupt situation that some people might not think could change everything turned into an all out worst case scenario for Donut Media. And anyone who's still at Donut, I worry for you. So Job and Jeremiah just made a channel called Big Time, which got over a million followers overnight. Their first video doing over 4 million views. So with Job and Jeremiah both leaving Donut, it seems like they found themselves in a pretty good situation. This could have actually been really bad. I mean, they could have got up left and then no one watched their channel because it wasn't Donut Media. That's honestly a scenario that I think they probably played out in their heads. <laughs> I know I would have, but that left one person left over. So James wasn't in any of the recent videos on Donut and he's kind of been fading away over time and people have been speculating if he's gonna leave too and news just dropped that he is. So James Pomfrey is no longer with Donut Media and he is joining big time. Now honestly, I'm thinking that Donut Media just rebrands and goes by Disaster Media because who is left? I mean, they have Nolan left and I guess he's the face of the channel. And I really like Nolan. Like I think he's the GOAT and if Again, I know Donut Media is probably gonna watch this video because it's gonna pop up on their feed because YouTube's recommended is just like that. So everyone at Donut, like I wish you guys the best. I think you're gonna do super well and a rebrand is totally fine, happens all the time. But as a viewer, I'm talking to you here, I know for a fact I'm gonna be watching big time and I probably still will stay subscribed to Donut Media. I'm honestly pretty stoked just to see James coming back to videos and hearing more power, baby. Can I get a more power, baby? A more power, baby! Testify! A more power, baby! No low power, baby! Only more power, baby! An absolute iconic reference from James. And since I posted my last video called The Fall of Donut Media, I was actually pretty not worried, I wouldn't say I'm worried, but I was actually wondering myself where this whole thing would go. James has had some health issues in the past and it could be related to that. Also put up a story saying, I'll talk to you guys soon, hold tight. Which is where some people are speculating that he could be leaving and joining big time. This would be the most drama in the auto industry since Jeremy left Top Gear. Hands down, this would be runner up. Do you think Donut's going down at Donut Hole? Do you think these companies are ruining good channels and pushing their agenda? I left the last video kind of on a cliffhanger because James wasn't really dropping information on what he's doing or what's happening here. The only two people that did were Job and Jeremiah. There was so much speculation online that James might have had another heart attack. In his lifetime, he's had two well-being with Donut Media and both of which have been pretty severe. Dude is always hyped up. Like this guy has so much energy. <laughs> It's not like it's bound to happen. That would be fucked up to say. I'm happy to see this guy doing well and hopefully he gets his, I guess, medical condition under wraps so big time can, he can be actually be on big time. That would be sick. And what it looks like for big time media with Jeremiah, Job, and now James being on it, it seems like the channel is gonna go more of a garage style feel. They started dropping videos of them rebuilding one of their cars the other day. And it honestly looks like a pretty great channel off the rip. And honestly, kind of a touch of, something new like youtube's been so dry lately that them coming out with a pretty raw channel where they're just kind of building cars hanging out you know talking shit is honestly what we need right now i think it's great for donut to keep posting keep doing the big videos those series do super well and i'm super happy for donut media and everyone's still at it but i think having a behind the scenes channel kind of like big time is what it seems like what they're doing is great if you still want to be filled on more on what happened at Donut Media, go, go watch my video, The Fall of Donut Media. It has almost every single piece broken down up until the time when James dropped the information that he is actually leaving. So like I give all the background on who bought Donut Media, who's the guy telling them what to say and who's approving all the ideas that they post. That's in that video. But now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about James and how I found out that he was joining big time. So at 9 a.m. this morning, James dropped the absolute best news ever. I mean, considering that he might have just discontinued social media altogether, according to other people, he dropped that he is going to be joining Big Time Media with a story post saying, let's go, boys. I'm ecstatic. I'm honestly ecstatic by this. 
For the people not subscribed right now, 99% of you guys that watch these videos and are watching this video right now are not subscribed. I am a super small channel. Like we're at like 1K subs right now. So it would mean the world if you guys hit that sub, hit that like, go share the video, share it with James, share it with Jemiah, share it with Donut Media. I don't give a fuck. But if you guys want me to keep creating videos, this is the way to do it. Let's get back to the video. Let me know if this is a uh, good place to put the mic. I think it's kind of awkward because it's like on my neck, but let's talk about some channels that had this happen to them as well. I know for a fact, Hoonigan is one of these things. Ken Block died and Hoonigan just kind of went poof, explosion. Hoonigan was one of the funnest things to watch. I remember I was living in Maine for like one summer at Sunday River. If you don't know what that is, it's a tiny little ski resort in the middle of nowhere on the right side of America, like next to Canada. I remember it, was, it must've been like 2018 and Ken Block, I think was racing at the time. I could be lying so hard right now. I don't know the timeline. Oh my God. I didn't even see this. Apparently Ken Block like burst into flames at this place. Is this where he died? Um, yeah, I just learned something new. Yeah, I was going to say, he died in a snowmobile accident, but yeah, I just learned that his car went on fire at Sunday River. Alley car crashes, then bursts into flames here in Maine. During the last leg of the New England Forest Rally, driver Ken Block was coming around this curve right before the finish line when he lost control. And when he came down through, apparently he hit it a little too fast. That's when the car flipped over, landing here on the side of the road, and he had moments to get out of the car as it burst into flames. Caught on his helmet camera, rally car driver Ken Block and his passenger made their escape from the car within seconds of the crash. Get I'm I actually had one of my firefighters that was- I didn't meet him there, but either way, yeah, Hoonigan. Hoonigan was a sick channel. I mean, I love drifting. I love that whole like complex they had. Those videos were absolute iconic videos but it went super corporate and died out on one of my last videos that was posted actually this morning when i'm recording this yeah i'm putting up two videos this weekend for you guys back to back someone said this i'm in the uk we had the same thing happen with car throttle they went very corporate and limited the budget and context to the point that all the presenters left first auto alex then the rest one by one now we have three great channels who all do videos together and consistently work with people such as freddy Tarvish, Matt Armstrong, Ben Collins, along with many more. Yeah. Hopefully the same thing happens here with better content and not a corporate overload. I know Car Throttle, I kind of forgot about this. And it is cool to see that these guys survived. I mean, they left a corporate place that was basically a comfort zone, if I'm gonna be honest here. I mean, you have an employer, instead of just YouTube being YouTube where you get paid, now you have an actual employer that's like, all right, well, you're gonna get paid this amount no matter what, so you're chilling but they took the risk and they were like, all right, we're just gonna do our own channels and fund ourselves. I think that's sick. And I would love for this whole comment section to be talking about that and you guys telling me like what this guy relates to. But one of you guys commented and I mean, Car Throttle is definitely a legit one that I didn't know before this. And I hope the same thing happens here where these guys survive, do really well, make their own thing. And I hope that Donut Media continues to make content because the guys that work at Donut Media should not feel like this entire community hates them. I, I don't think we hate them at all. Like I fuck with Nolan. I fuck with the whole team there. So best of luck to Nolan. Let me know in the comments what this kind of relates to, what you think is gonna happen here. And are you still gonna watch Donut? Also, I ate a Lunchable while making this whole video. So comment Lunchable if you made it to the end of this video. Peace. Okay, ham and cheese slaps. 99 cents, baby.